how is your future husband going to love your magic? How is your magical energy or practice going to uplift him, positively impact his life, um, excite him even? This is what we're finding out in today's video in your reading. For those of you that are here for the first time, my name is Natalie Hughes. I'm a psychic medium. I'm also a life mindset and manifestation coach and in my channel, on my platform, in my business, my job is to support professional women as they co-create emotionally fulfilled lives for themselves. And in today's reading, in today's video, we're accomplishing this by doing some readings on your future husband, your future spouse, and like what his relationship with or his perception of or his like the value he receives from your magic. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, so there's three pictures on your screen and you can select the one or all of them that stick out to you. The timestamps are already in the description down below. And let's get into your reading. Okay, pile number one. All right, what is your future husband's obsession with and relationship with your magic? In today's reading, I'm going to be shuffling and doing all of that stuff live. So the first thing that we're doing is getting the astro dice. Which I'm sure you can hear clacking around. And I'm actually going to roll the dice. Okay, we've got Neptune in Aquarius. You guys could definitely be my Neptune and Aquarius generation. Or your future husband could be. We've got Neptune in Aquarius in the sixth house. Ooh. Okay. So immediately the setup and the vibe and the energy that I am getting. The sixth house is our daily habits, right? It's that Virgo ruled or associated house. That's all about our daily routine. It is about, you know, the things that we do to support ourselves and support our health on a day to day basis. That's Virgo. Virgo is what are the action steps that I can take every single day in order to achieve my goal. So Neptunian energy, Piscean energy is that spiritual energy. That's your magic. So we have your magic with Neptune in your sixth house. This means your magic is in your day to day. Your magic is in your habits. So you guys are people who practice like magic in the mundane. You know what I mean? Which no, we're not going to get into like breaking down all of that. Basically, what I'm trying to say is you guys implement your magic into your day to day process. So like, um, for example, if I'm doing my own pedicure or I have my Epsom salts, like I'm taking a bath or something, I add my herbs into my salts when I first get them and open the bag and I'm praying over the energy and putting crystals in the energy and just setting intentions and just praying over these salts. And so for the rest of my time,
time, you know, using those salts for baths and pedicures and all of that stuff, every single time I'm using those salts, I'm tapping into that energy. I'm tapping into that magic. You know what I'm saying? You guys could have candles that you're lighting every single day, or you can have a practice where you're praying every single day. You could have a practice where you're praying multiple times a day. You could listen to gospel music every single day, right? The point is the way that you practice your magic, it's in your day to day. This is a part of your habits. This is a part of the things that make you you. So your spiritual health, maintaining your spiritual health is very important for you. And so we have this Neptune in the sign of Aquarius in the sixth house. And when we see Aquarius, we see unique. We see something that's different. So this Neptune in Aquarius in the sixth house, these are daily magical practices and habits that are a bit unique, that are a bit different, that are a bit out there. And, you know, not like not out there to me, but out there to the average people, out there to the masses, right? Wherever Aquarius is, Aquarius energy is unique. And so what I'm getting here from this is that one of the reasons why your future spouse is going to be obsessed with you is because of your magical practice and energy, okay? You might be the kind of person who is burning cinnamon sticks to call in abundance or you're creating simmer pots or you've got a grigri bag or two that you carry in your bag or in your car or different things like that. You are going to be, you know, cleansing the house, smoke cleansing the house, um, praying over the house, laying hands on, you know, things all over the house. It's like, this your spirituality and your magic is very much something that is practiced for you in your day to day and I feel like your person your future husband this is something that he really likes about you this is something that he really respects about you And I even get that this is something that he agrees with about you. So it might not be that you guys are meeting each other and he's like, oh yeah, I energetically cleanse my house once a week or once a day or whatever. It's not necessarily that that's going to be it. Um, But I am getting an energy of a man who is like sensitive energetically. So he can tell the difference in the energy of your home when you've just smoked cleansed. Or, you know, when you go a week without smoke cleansing versus every single morning, you're waking up, you're opening the windows, you're releasing that stagnant old energy, casting out any negative energy and you're calling that positive energy into your home and setting that intention daily. It elevates the vibration of everything. I feel like this is a man who is going to ask you like when you're dating, I feel like this is a man who's going to ask you to like do things for him or you're going to, you know, naturally do things like, oh, hey, like if you want, I can cleanse in here with a little bit of smoke or, you know, he comes over to your house. He comes to visit you. He comes to see you and he walks in and he's like, oh my God, the energy feels so good in here. It feels so amazing in here. You're like, oh yeah, I totally, (laughs) I totally agree. Thank you so much. Do you want me to come over and I can do a little cleanse of your house and I can call in some good energy for you? Like, would you like that? And this person is like, um, yes, you can make my home feel like this amazing goodness. Like, yes, right now, do it now, do it immediately. Please tell me everything that you need and I'll buy all the supplies. I'll go with you to the store. Like, tell me everything, show me everything. But I also get the energy that this person is like, will you do it for me? It's not, it's not this person's like afraid or like, like they don't want to do it. It's kind of like, um, love language acts of service. Um, they're singing that song by gym class heroes. Um, take a look at my girlfriend, 
she's the only one I got, you know, um, you might want to go and listen to that song. It's, it's, it's that kind of energy when you go to his home before you guys move in together and you guys cleanse his home with however you do it. I'm saying an egg cleanse for some of you. So it can be an egg cleanse. It could be a smoke cleanse. You could be burning different herbs. You could be getting out, um, what are those called like um like frankincense like um god you burn them like incense you could be getting incense and burning them on the charcoal or you could be getting you know different incense or or you could be using sound healing i'm seeing sound bowls and um tuning forks and things like that so i'm just seeing you coming to you know this guy's house coming to his apartment and with all of your tools in your bag or you guys go out to the store and get him his own stuff and his own stash and you're like okay this is what i do i you know cleanse the house from this to this and i open the windows in this way and this this is what I say and this is how I pray and this is the music that I put on and this is the kind of candle that I light and this is how I did it and he's just like watching you in amazement and he can feel the energy as you're moving through his space and you're even like cleansing um, his body he can feel the energy because this is the sixth house this is Virgo energy. Virgo is an earth sign. Earth is physical. Earth is the physical manifestation of something. And so that's why earth signs tend to really thrive in the physical realm, right? So it's like, this sixth house energy, this earthy energy, which is connected to our bodily health, this person's going to feel your magic on a very physical level. This person is going to be very sensitive in their, you know, environment, in their home. And so they're going to feel as you're cleansing the energy, that negativity leaving them, those things lifting off of them. And this person is going to be like, wow, like, they had a bad day at work or something happened or they're going for a promotion. They're like, hey, baby, can you set me up a spiritual bath and scrub me with the herbs like you did last time because it made me feel so good. Like, I swear to God, like this person is going to be showing up in your life and they're going to be asking you, like, can you help me with this? I don't know what you did, but can you do this for me? Or even like praying for them. So you guys might really be good at praying. So it's like, hey, baby, can you pray for me? Can you lay hands? on me can you do this like this person is gonna really um like they're gonna rely on you and so I feel like your magical daily practice will become the magical daily practice for the both of you or you will add them into your routine or when you guys move in together and as you guys are living together this is just something that you always do it's it's a part of the routine at the end of each week we give each other their spiritual bath and we cleanse all of the energy from the past week and we step into this next week or at the end of every single month we do this and this and this there's very much um something that is habitual here there's something that is very um ritualistic here this person might even ask you to like light candles for them um yeah like i feel like when this person is like you know going out for something in their job or something like that they're like hey baby do you think that you could could, um, you know, do one of those candles for me that you do and like say a prayer for me so that it goes well, like, <laughs> and, um, this person, your magic and your magical energy is going to be such a source of hope and strength and safety and security for your person. It's kind of like, um, you know, that experience where you have a man who makes you feel safe and secure in the physical and you're that divine, feminine, intuitive, mystical energy that supports them in the spiritual, in the emotional. That's what it feels. That's what it feels like. Not like you guys can't do like both of those things for each other, but that's not what I'm feeling. Then with the energy of Peacock and Tiger at the bottom of the deck, I feel like your person will be 
like, I feel like you kind of show off your spirituality a bit. Like, you know, peacocking, like your spirituality is a big part of your personality or the things that you do. You're very proud of your spiritual routine. You're very proud of your spiritual hygiene. Like you're, you're very proud of the things that you do. Um, spiritually, you're very proud of like your spiritual magic because with the tiger at the bottom of the deck, this is like fierce fucking energy. This is like powerful fucking energy. I think about those big cats in zoos and how they'll have like those ropes for tug of war. And it's like five grown men and like one lone like lion or tiger or whatever. And it's like the grown men are fucking struggling. You know what I mean? I feel like in the fucking spiritual, you are like this fucking tigress. You are like this fucking hunter. Like if you're not there, you will be there. And I feel like in this relationship and in this connection, like in the spiritual, you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on to this like fucking Phoenix energy, this fucking powerful, majestic, like impactful fucking energy. And you're, you, you walk around like your shit doesn't stink because you're so fucking high vibrational. Like you feel good vibrationally you vibrate high because you take such good care of yourself you feel good you look good you exude a good feeling energy and you're just like yeah I'm the shit yeah I'm amazing yeah I'm fabulous and I know exactly how to make you feel amazing and fabulous and wonderful too and this person is like oh my fucking god I can see clearly now the rain is gone amazing take a look at my girlfriend take a look at my fucking wife she's so amazing this person is telling other people yeah you know yeah I fucking you know I told my wife the other day light a candle for me I was feeling a bit nervous about the proposal at work she lit that candle for me I had a dream That I got the promotion. I woke up feeling real good about myself. This person is like bragging. Because they have a woman who believes in them. They have a woman who like really supports them. Like that makes them feel really supported. And I feel like this person is going to like brag about how much you support them. How much you show up for them. How much you work with them. It's like that fucking viral video with Tom Brady and he's like in a fucking barbershop or something right and he's like um oh yeah my wife Giselle she you know does her thing with the astrology and the candles and she tells me to do my thing and she's gonna do her thing and then I win the Super Bowl 800 million times like you know what I mean I don't fucking know the video but you know It's that energy. It's that vibe of this man who was so fucking wildly successful and is like, yes, I'm amazing. Yes, I'm awesome. Yes, I'm great. But really, my wife is my fucking secret weapon. It's like that viral TikTok song, theme song, whatever there's one thing you can expect from me it's the unexpected because I'm an international super spy (laughs) that's how your person talks about you thinks about you perceives you with your magic look at my wife she's a fucking international secret super spy she kicks my limiting beliefs ass (laughs) she knocks out my competition in my career, okay? So that's their obsession with your magic and their relationship with your magic. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me some blue hearts in the comment section. Let me know that this is your reading. Let me know that you are claiming this energy pile number one. And before I let you move on to your next video, I have to let you know that my favorite course of all time is now open for enrollment and it's 20% off until October 18th.
the receiver's mindset is a self-paced personal development, self-worth, and empowerment course that is made to help you create a life where you are cared for without the doubt, guilt, or fear that you're doing something wrong. In order to receive and maintain all that you are asking for, like in life, you need to be the woman who knows that she deserves good things. And not only do you need to know this in theory, but it must be reflected in your beliefs. It must be reflected back to you in your actions and your subconscious thoughts. Until you form supportive beliefs and learn how to embody the most aligned versions of yourself you won't be able to consistently manifest what you want. And it's inside of this transformational program that I am teaching you the processes needed to shift your thoughts and energy so that they actually support the manifestation of your every desire. It is time to receive on demand. This course is for the woman who is ready to spend time arguing in favor of her desires. It's for the woman who is actually ready to receive. The receiver's mindset course has been very intentionally created to help you develop the mental, emotional, and spiritual tools needed to thrive. You can learn more about the course, get a breakdown of what's inside of all five modules and the bonuses. You can look over the payment options and save over $300 when you enroll today, all by just clicking the link in the description. I love you lots, and I'll see you in the next reading. What's up, pile number two? For those of you who chose this second lovely image, we are getting into your future husband and his obsession with your magic. So it's like, how is the magic that you practice, whether it's candles or prayer or journaling or whatever, how is your future husband perceiving and even benefiting from or being attracted to your magic and your magical practice. Okay. I'm super duper excited to get into this one. And as we're tapping into the energy, I have to remind you that I have the free resource library. It's linked in the description. There is over 12 manifestation and mindset tools for you. So you can get access to it using the links in the description. Okay. And the first thing we're doing is starting off with some Astro Dime, which I'm going to roll for you. And we've got Saturn in Leo in the 11th house. Hmm. So let's start with a breakdown of these energies. Saturn is the planet of responsibility and accountability. Saturn wants to create structures that sustain us for generations. Saturn wants to take its time and build things out the right way. So we've got Saturn in the sign of Leo. Of course, you could have Saturn in Leo. Your person could have Saturn in Leo. Yeah. Or Saturn in Aquarius, Saturn in the 11th house, or Saturn in the 5th house. Or they could also be a Capricorn sun, right? Okay. So we have Leo. And these energies, they're just a representation. They don't have to actually be anybody's sign at all. So then we have Leo. And when we have Leo, we have a star. 
When we have Leo, we have an experience of being seen. When we have Leo, we have the spotlight and we're center stage, smack dab in the middle of it. So we've got Saturn, which is a planet of personal responsibility and accountability. We've got the sign of Leo, which is about receiving the spotlight, being seen, being known probably for our creative talents and gifts, for our intelligence, for the skills that we have. And then you have the 11th house, which can be our house of groups. It can be our house of friends. It can be our house of acquaintances. It can be the house of the groups that we associate ourselves with. It could be the house of how we relate to and connect with the masses. It can be a humanitarian house, how we serve our community, how we serve the world. So we have structure from Saturn, spotlight from Leo in the house of humanitarianism in groups. So the magic that you do the magic that you do with your future husband is surrounding bringing a spotlight to certain humanitarian needs and crises. It could even be relating to your specific community. So if you're an immigrant, it could be relating to immigrants. It could be relating to black people. It could be relating to African-American people. It can be relating to black people from the South, people from the South, right? These, it's, it's about communities that you belong to, communities that your person belongs to. And with this energy of Leo, it's very much giving spotlight. And with Saturn, it's even giving like, a business. It's giving like Marie Laveau, somebody who is well known for the magical work that they do. They have a magical business that's structure, that's Saturn energy, business. She's created a business that she is well known for And through this business and her connections and her magic that she is known for, she serves her community. So you could quite literally have a business where you do things like this. You help people with magic. You do magic for people. You sell magical items and tools for people. You guys could collaborate on this. You could also have an experience where your person is a lawyer. They have their own law firm. You could have an experience where you and your person or your person starts a nonprofit. Your husband is a civil rights lawyer and is calling you in to use your magic to change and shift outcomes to serve the community, to serve humanity. And you are known in this way. So with this Leo energy, this is not something that you hide away, especially in the 11th house. This is something that you are known for. This is like, um, this is like, Um, I'm trying to think. I can't think of any good examples. It doesn't matter. The point is, this is something that you're known for. You are the witchy wife or you are the witchy couple. Together, you are the Adams family. You are Morticia and, oh my God, he's my favorite man in the world. How come I can't remember his name? 
you're going to have to excuse me. Morticia and her man. Okay. Gomez. Thank you. You are Morticia and Gomez. Actually, that's the perfect fucking example. You know, in the movie, the Adams family, Morticia and Gomez. I think it was the Adams family values. I think it's that one. But there's a scene from an Adams family movie where they're going to an auction. They're bringing a finger trappy thingy majiggy and they're offering it up to be auctioned off for charity. And so Gomez and Morticia, Morticia are in the auction house and the piece that they offered up gets, you know, put up for the auction. And Morticia and Gomez start bidding against each other. And they're like having this moment of like, basically like foreplay where he's like, I'll pay 5,000. She's like, I'll do 10. He's like 15. She's like 25. He's like 35. She's like 40. (laughs) He's like 50,000. She's like 75,000. He's like (laughs) $100,000. And it's for something that they gave up, right? So it's like, what are they doing? They're just giving to charity and, you know, turning each other on at the same time. That's the energy. That's the vibe. In the, mid- in the middle of the auction house, in front of my auction, you guys are going to get jiggy with it? Well, you know what? You just donated $100,000 to save orphans. So thank you. Would you like me to move my chair so you can really get into it? <laughs> like, that's the energy. That's the vibe. You are known as the witchy wife. You are known as the magical lady. You are known as the lady who comes and does her little thingy thingy. And then after she does her little thingy thingy, things get better, better. Like (laughs) that's the energy and that's the vibe. So you are working to build structures. I heard even the playing field. Tell us more about pile number twos. We got B. Immediately. Do you know what I get from this? I don't even know if this is like real science, okay? So just like there's my disclaimer. But you know those things you see online that's like, the bee's wings are too small for its body. And bees should not be able to fly. But because bees move their wings so quickly... They're able to fly. It's like that energy. Leveling the playing field. People who shouldn't be given a chance, they're given a chance. When pound number two and her husband, when when his wife shows up, people who shouldn't be given a chance are given a chance. Things that look like they're not going to go in their favor end up going in their favor things that I would seriously have doubts around end up going in their favor you guys are like angels to people the way that you use your magic for the greater good using your magic to serve that's what I got And that's what makes him obsessed with you. Very proud to have you. And it's a little bit different from pile number ones. Because this energy isn't like, look at my wife. My wife is so good to me. There's nothing wrong with that. But this is not that energy. This energy is like, this energy is like, There goes my baby by Usher. You don't know how good it feels to call you my girl. I feel like you guys work together to create something that serves the masses. Whether it's an actual business or it's a nonprofit or it's a fucking life-changing movie or book. You guys are coming together, combining forces. And your magic is implemented into this. However it is that you do. 
magic and it serves people and this person just looks at you in awe. This person just looks at you and is like, oh my God, you are so amazing. You are so cool. You are so powerful. You are so strong. You have such a strong ability to change the lives of your community. You have such, you have such a strong ability to serve people and it like blows this person's mind. So your magic doesn't just serve this person, like it serves their reputation, which of course they like, but what they really love is that it serves the world. You are like a trophy wife on steroids. You look good and you are good. It's like you are as good as you look. Your heart is as good as your body and your face is sexy. You know what I'm saying? And your person thinks that that's like, wowza. Okay? I love that. Give me some orange hearts in the comment section to let me know that pile number two is your pile. And let me know that you guys are claiming this energy so that I can claim that energy for you as well. And before you move on to your next video, I have to let you know that my favorite course of all time is now open for enrollment and it's 20% off until October 18th. The receiver's mindset is a self-paced personal development, self-worth, and empowerment course that is made to help you create a life where you are cared for without the doubt, guilt, or fear that you're doing something wrong. In order to receive and maintain all that you are asking for, this amazing relationship and life, you need to be the woman who knows that she deserves good things. And not only do you need to know this, like in theory, because we all know in theory that we deserve good things, but that must be reflected back to you in your beliefs, in your actions, in your subconscious thoughts. My point is that until you form supportive beliefs and learn to embody the most aligned versions of yourself, then you won't be able to consistently manifest and call in what you want. Inside of this transformational program, I am teaching you the processes needed to shift your thoughts and energy so that they support the manifestation of your every desire instead of undermining it. This is the course that is going to teach you how to receive on demand. This course is for the woman who is ready to spend her time arguing in favor of her desires. It's for the woman who is actually ready to receive. The Receiver's Mindset course has been very intentionally crafted to help you develop the mental, emotional, and spiritual tools needed to thrive. You can learn more about the course. You can get a breakdown of all five modules. You can look over the payment options and you can save over $300 when you enroll today by clicking the link in the description. I love you so much. Thanks for being here. I hope that I see you enrolled inside of the course and I'll talk to you in the next video. Okay, my beautiful, perfect, and amazing pile number threes. Let's get into your reading. We're tapping into the energy of your future husband and his relationship with your magic. How will he perceive your magic? How will your magic benefit him? These are your uh, magical practices, your magical energies, like whatever it is that comes up. Okay, these have been pretty good, actually. So I'm super 
excited to get into your reading. And as we start tapping into the energy, I have to remind you of the free resource library. It's my library of over 12 mindset and manifestation tools. There's EFT tapping scripts, there's meditations, there's journals and workbooks. It's really, really good. So I highly suggest checking it out. You can join and get access using the link in the description. And now we're going to start by rolling your die. Okay. We've got, what is that? This is Virgo. We have the sun in Virgo in the ninth house. You could have literally watched pile number one, too, because this energy is very similar. So we've got a Virgo sun in the ninth house, which, again, is very much the energy of showing up every single day. Your magical practice is something that you do habitually. But with the energy of this Virgo sun being in the ninth house, this gets me into like, um, it gets me into like a channeling vibe or a meditating vibe or a tarot card reading vibe or an oracle card reading vibe. I feel like you have an experience where you are using your tools and it's so crazy because oh my god the picture that you chose is literally the only picture that has cards in it so yes oh my god yes that's the energy that's the vibe that i'm getting so you guys could definitely read cards for yourself read oracle cards for yourself read cards for your person do readings for your person yes i feel like your person is going to be obsessed with asking you for readings they want you to tell them everything they want you to give them messages from their ancestors they want you to i really do get very strong like passed over loved ones vibe they're like let me talk to my great grandfather like tell me all of the tea like yes I feel like these are so like intentional things and they're connected with your person's um culture your person's background your person's ancestors your your person's lineage your person's history where they come from and also where they're going their vision for life the things that they want to explore the things that we want to expand your magical practice is going to be showing up every single day taking action to grow and expand to reach your goals you and your spouse will be using your magic whether it's candles or tarot readings oracle cards um, meditating journaling smoke cleansing like whatever it is that you're doing whatever things it is that you are using you're going to be using those in order to reach your goals in order to move towards what you guys want as individuals, what you want as a family, what you want as a culture, what you want in terms of your soul's growth and expansion. So I feel like there will be a very strong agreement on your own personal values as a couple, because that's what I get with that ninth house energy, um, like values of a different culture. So ninth house could be like you and your person come from a different culture or you come from a different status or you come from a different um you know something like that it could be that your person is uh, I'm not getting this strongly but this is just one example it could be that your person is older than you your husband is older than you and um he thinks that you know your magic and your tarot cards are very adorable and very cute and he's like okay sure you can do a tarot reading for me and then you do the tarot reading and he's like whoa like I did not know that it was going to be that deep I did not know that you were going to look at my birth chart and tell me things that I've never told anyone in my life like I feel like there's so much depth here that's what I feel I feel like his obsession with your magic is like she sees things she knows things um they're singing that oldies song well not like oldies well I mean fuck it I guess it is the oldies like the early 2000s um just the girl I'm looking for 
Okay, she's bittersweet. She knocks me off my feet and I can't something something. I don't want anyone else. Baby, I don't know the full lyrics to the song, but it doesn't really matter. The point is that that's the energy and that's the vibe. You are just the girl that he is looking for. This is exactly what he wanted. This is exactly what I needed. And and that's why I didn't get the energy strongly that like, oh, he thinks that this is silly. He doesn't believe in it. It doesn't feel like that. It might feel like it's different to him. It might feel like it's foreign to him. Maybe he's never had a tarot reading before, right? It's bringing him and expanding his comfort zone, but in a way that he likes likes in a way that he enjoys because Virgo energy is very methodical. Virgo energy is going to thrive when it's working and moving towards a goal daily and diligently. So this man, your future husband is going to be someone who is always working towards his goals, working to grow and expand. That ninth house energy is Jupiterian energy because it's going to be ruled by or associated with Sagittarius, which is ruled by Jupiter. So this ninth house energy, Jupiterian energy is all about growth and expansion. It's about pleasure. It's about expanding past our comfort zone and seeking, you know, what pleasures might be lurking over there in a different world, in a different culture, in a different experience. And so this person is going to perceive your magic to be a different culture or a different experience or a different like iteration of the same religion or something like that. And it's going to fascinate them and it's going to draw them in. In and as you guys connect and you're doing magic for them, you know, in, in, in the daily life, in, in tarot readings and oracle readings or looking at their astrology or um, looking at their chart, looking at their transits, talking about the current transits and things that are going on. It's like your messages are going to be very accurate for them. I'm also getting an energy of people who are just straight up psychic, people who have dreams, people who have understandings, people who have knowings, people who just like, you know, randomly or like, hey, I want to share this with you. I feel called to share this with you. I feel called to say this to you right now. Um, you might need to hear this right now. I feel like I should share this with you. I feel like you need to hear this. You know, it's like you have moments like this and your person is just like, how do you know this? Like, how do you know me? How do you know what I need to hear? So this person definitely is perceiving you as a... Um, the song Mirror by Justin Timberlake started playing, so you might want to go listen to that. But no, th this person is perceiving you as like uh, a median, um, a medium, a shaman, a medicine woman, a um, yeah, somebody who can make everything all better. It's kind of like when your mama kisses your boo boo, you know, um, this person will bring you things they'll share things with you vulnerabilities with you and you'll have something for them to do journal on this meditate on this oh try this oh burn this candle oh take a spiritual bath with these herbs oh rub yourself down with this oil that i have um what is that like I, I soaked these herbs in it and I prayed over it and used this and da 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 and it just really powerfully helps helps and serves your person and then the card we have here is moth like a moth to a flame this person is obsessed with your energy this person is obsessed with your vibe this person is obsessed with your soul this person is obsessed with your gifts your future husband is going to be like oh my god like give me more of this. Tell me more. Tell me more about what you see. Tell me more about what you see for my life. Tell, tell me more about what my next step should be. But it's not like in a codependent way where they're not the leader of their life. It's not like a, a thirsty way or, or, or anything like that. It's not, it doesn't feel like they're chasing you down for things. It just feels like they're very open and they're very receptive. And so you have this energy, you have this relationship dynamic where it's kind of like Virgo energy. Virgo, is all about the details. Virgo is all about the smallest things. So it's having a, a relationship where you have this woman who is just, you know, passing you along little messages, little tidbits. You can shift this here. You can think about this in this way. You can do this. You can try this. You can try this. Ooh, you might want to try this. You might want to look at this. You might want to da 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 da. It's like this woman who is giving you like these little small tidbits these little small tidbits and then 
they're transforming your life. They add up over time. So it's like these little suggestions that you're making add up to your person becoming a whole new person, having a whole new experience, right? That's ninth house energy, Sagittarius energy, traveling outside of our comfort zone, exploring a new culture. When you're doing that, when you're traveling the world, you become a different person because you're looking at different cultures, you're exploring different cultures, you're exploring different ways of being in the world, different ways of thinking and living and expecting and you know what I'm saying so it's like you do not look at the world in the same way you don't respond in the world you don't respond to the world in the same way and that's what I feel that you're gonna do for your husband that's what I feel you're gonna do with your magic as he connects with you as you pour into him as you two share with one another you're gonna go so deep with the things that you see in him whether it's things that need to be healed or potential or both the things that you see in him the things that you bring up in your readings the things that you talk about the things that you share it's just gonna deep in that connection you're gonna have such a strong soul connection and, and and a soul bond with your person such an incredibly deep bond and literally one of my tattoos is like hurting right now my tattoo for intuition is like freaking stinging right now so that energy of like you're gonna have such a strong connection with this person such a strong fear physical connection with this person like the energy between the two of you is going to be felt very very much in your physical body so when you're talking to this person or you're praying over this person or you're looking into their eyes and you're channeling messages and things like that you're gonna get chills in your physical body you're gonna cry your person's gonna cry you're gonna feel sensations in in your heart shock where you're gonna feel your inner energy opening and shifting and your person's going to feel it too it's going to be very much physical so you guys are going to have a very physical response to one another you know in a, like a in in an intimate and sexy way sure but in a in a spiritual way in an energetic way you guys are going to really lock into each other you're going to like lock into each other's um frequency and you guys are going to grow and expand as a consequence of it. This person is going to grow and expand you. You're going to grow and expand them. But it's all growth and expansion that you want. It's all growth and expansion that you desire. It's Jupiterian energy. These are the things that we seek out. These are the things that excite us. These are the things that we maybe even dream about. These are the things that we want. These are the things that we wonder about. And so you and your husband are going to explore places and energies, even dimensions that the two of you have always wondered about. This could definitely be some meet my lover on an astral plane type of thing. Okay, go listen to that song. It's called Astral Plane and it's by the band Say She She. Go listen to that. It's really good. Um, so it could be some meeting my lover on the astral plane type thing. It could definitely be tantric. You guys doing tantric massages and meditations together. You guys just doing meditations together. You guys praying together. When you guys connect in this magical way, you're both sensitive. You're both tuned in, tapped in, turned on. Your person is spiritual. Your person meditates. Your person has their own religious practice. So you guys come together. You bring your energies together and it's just magic magical things happen the fucking electricity goes out the fucking fire alarm starts blaring like crazy fucking shit happens when the two of you get together and you guys are doing magic together and you're combining your magical energies together and I even get that in a you know a sensual sense okay that's what I'm getting that's the vibe that I'm getting and with that moth card it's like a moth to a flame your person is attracted to you they're attracted to you on a soul level it's like their soul looks at you and they know what's that song lovely day just one look at you and I know it's going to be a lovely day. This person is going to look at you. They're going to recognize you. Even if they don't know you, they're going to recognize you on a soul level. They might even say, do I know you from somewhere? Have I met you somewhere? Have we talked before? Do I know you? Do I, I feel like I recognize you. I feel like I know you. And it's like their soul is going to so strongly be like, this is who I called for. This is who I asked for. This is who I wanted. So they're going to be drawn into you. I feel like you, pal number three, you have a magical soul. 
you know? And like, sure, don't we all have magical souls? Blah, blah, blah. Everybody's special. What the fuck ever. You have a magical soul. You have a magical soul. You're a magical person. You could definitely be Sagittarius, Pisces. I'm getting that Jupiterian energy, Neptunian energy, possibly even Aquarius. You don't have to be. Of course not. But that's the energy and that's the vibe here. It's magical. It's mystical. It's when we come together, weird things start happening. I literally am getting chills. When we come together, spooky things start happening. When we come together, um, weird things occur. But it's not in a way that anybody's actually scared. It's just like, okay, do you feel that? Do you feel that shift in the air? Do you feel that presence in the corner of our room? I do. But it's not negative. The vibes are good. The vibes are high. So your person, pile number three, your future husband is obsessed with your magic because he has his own magic. I don't think that you guys practice the same magic. I don't think you have the same like culture or the same uh, like like the same iterations of things. But there's a very much a mutual respect and a learning from one another. And again, you come together, you guys unlock things, you unlock ideas within one another. Ooh, what if we tried this? What if we did this and this and this and this? Like, I feel like I keep getting this tantric energy. Okay, so you could already be into tantric stuff. You guys could get into tantric stuff as a couple. I'm also getting like kundalini awakening stuff. So you you guys could definitely like you guys really get into this stuff okay um and I feel like you guys connect with each other and you guys are doing the thing but it's like no what what's in this book is it really working what if we tried something like this and we did it a little bit like this and he's like I was just thinking the same thing and then you guys do it in the way that you feel intuitively to do it and it's like whoa like there's an explosion there's a shift there's something that gets unlocked you guys go deeper so you guys are using magic and spirituality to really go deeper within yourselves as human beings to go deeper with one another, deepen your connection, deepen your relationship, grow and expand, reaching your goals, developing a greater spiritual understanding. Like, oh my God, pile number three, this is the kind of energy where you to go off into a cabin in the woods you go off into that secluded place to get away from everything go off into the desert to get away from everything and you like unplug from the technology and you get tuned and tapped and turned on to yourselves on a soul level you and your future spouse have a deep connection on a soul level and that is something that you will explore with one another in the physical when you guys get together when you guys are dating especially when you guys are married that's going to be a very big thing for you like you guys literally I'm seeing you guys like with kids and stuff like that and it's like okay mommy and daddy are going to go meditate now and it's not code word for anything you know nasty it's literally we're going to sit and we're going to meditate and we're going to connect with each other so I get like a strong like telepathic bond between the two of you like you guys have a very strong soul connection and you this is not something you shy away from this is something you talk about this is something you feel this is something you explore and this is something that you deliberately take action every single day in order to strengthen and deepen so this is deep intimacy okay this is deep closeness that's happening between you and your future husband so I love this I'm a little bit jealous of you pal number three you have to drop some green hearts in the comment section to let me know that you're claiming this let me know that this reading was yours so that I can claim it for you as well and before I let you move on to your next video, I have to let you know that my favorite course of all time is now open for enrollment and it's 20% off until October 18th. The receiver's mindset is a self-paced personal development, self-worth, and empowerment course that is made to help you create a life where you are cared for by money, by men, by people, 
It's about creating a life where you are cared for without the doubt, the guilt, or the fear that you're doing something wrong. In order to receive and maintain all that you are asking for, you need to be the woman who knows that she deserves good things. And not only do you need to know this like in theory, but it must be in your belief system. And it must be reflected back to you in your actions. Until you form supportive beliefs and until you learn how to embody the most aligned versions of yourself, then you won't be able to consistently manifest what you want. That's why inside of this transformational program, I'm teaching you the processes needed to shift your thoughts and energy so that they support the manifestation of your every desire. It is time to receive on demand, girlfriend. This course is for the woman who is ready to spend her time arguing in favor of her desires. It's for the woman who is actually ready to receive. The Receiver's Mindset course has been very intentionally created to help you develop the mental, emotional, and spiritual tools needed to thrive. You can learn more about the course. You can get a breakdown of all five modules. You can look over the payment options and you can save over $300 when you enroll today by clicking the link in the description. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you in the next one.